Hello, happy people. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at a short story called The New Samson. It's 14 pages long. It's been published more than 100 years ago by an author during the pulp era named Edith Nesbitt. And our copy of this is in this collection from the dead uh, for you folks. This is a lot of fun. It's, all, it's, a, it's, it's in the horror genre uh, collection, but I don't think it's actually a horror genre story. Um, there was one more uh, that we've read uh, in this collection uh, that I thought was fantasy, but I went ahead and did a review for it because it was, I do reviews for fantasy, horror, and science fiction, so that was still on cute. Uh, this one, I don't think it's a horror short story. I, I, there's, I just think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a psychological uh, drama with an interesting style to it uh, for you folks. Uh, but I don't think it's actually a, uh, a horror short story, but we'll still review it for you. I did Shirley Jackson horror stuff, even though she's one of the big names in horror uh, that wasn't horror. Stephen King's non-horror stuff, if I read some of those, I don't think anybody would mind, right? I, re I reviewed uh, boxing short stories uh, by Robert E. Howard um, that are not in the three genres that I review since it's Robert E. Howard. He's one of the most influential authors in fantasy of old time for what is kind of the barbarian stuff and he's definitely somebody who's been heavily written in pastiche and so forth everybody knows him but he did but he was an amateur boxer so he actually has more short stories written by his boxing guy than he does in the kind of the barbarian stuff so i've read i'm not gonna few short stories by that uh, but so uh, I don't think anybody will mind too much if I do the new Samson uh, by Edith Nesbitt. Now, uh, this collection from the dead, I'll link you to on in the end below. I'll also try to find this for you for free since this is you know well past uh, the copyright date of 1927. Uh, so this should be pretty easily to find for you folks out there. Uh, so. Uh, so, so I'll try to find it for you. Her stuff tends, her horror stuff, uh, tends to be really strong, and I like it a lot. Um, so uh, this collection is edited by S.T. Joshi, a big name in the horror film as an editor. He's edited a lot of stuff for Penguin Classics horror collections. Uh, he's edited uh, a lot of H.P. Lovecraft things, Clark Ashton Smith things, a lot, of, a lot of big names in the horror film uh, that people know. So, this is, so the fact that he put this collection together a few years ago, there's a lot of fun stuff that's happening in it. So we've been doing a deep dive into From the Dead for you folks. I like this short story a lot, uh, The New Samson. As a reminder, keep my review spoiler free in case you've never heard of it before, never heard of Edith Nesbitt before, right, and those sorts of things. Uh, but I, I like this. I thought it was pretty good, even though it's not a horror short story. Um, I thought it's probably more like a 7 plus out of 10. I guess 7.2 or 7.3 uh, that I'm rounding down to a 7. Um, that's out of a 10 for you folks. I liked it. I was definitely engaged with it. It's just, it's just 14 pages long. It took me less than a half an hour for me to read it a couple of days ago. Uh, we've been having a power outage. Uh, so uh, here on here locally in the Baltimore area for a while. So I wasn't able to record this on a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, so I, because, you know, I've got the lights <laughs> that I got to run. You know, the, my, my camera's got a battery in it, but I got the lights I got to run on, on, on it. And I, I don't think you'd like to see it without any lights at all <laughs> coming from the, uh, from the big giant light in the background that's lighting me up like I'm a Christmas day. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we're going a few of these reviews for you folks back to back to back. So I'm going to be wearing the same clothes and so forth. Uh, but anyway, so what do I think about? So so I so told you I gave it a seven plus. Uh, so in the New Simpson, what's happening uh, is, is that our protagonist is a man who is a uh, who is uh, works for this big name in the in, in the architecture firm, firm, one of the biggest names uh, in 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 Europe, and uh, he is like his major guy, right? Uh, and so forth. This guy's getting up there in age, and he has named our, our, our point of view character as his heir apparent um, for, for when he leaves, and then after he dies, he's going to get his stuff. He's willed his things to him since he doesn't have any children. Uh, so uh, we're going to find out early on in the 14-page short story uh, that they've done a lot of major works of architecture, including a big, giant uh, entertainment area uh, that they built very recently. That's his, like, coup de grace. Um, of this major architect uh, and, his, and, his, and his designated stuff. Um, and so we'll find out more about that as the story progresses and his, his works uh, and, and the, in the coup de grace particular uh, and so forth. Uh, but basically what winds up happening um, is that our point of view character uh, his, his protege um, winds up getting married, even though the protege is like, you shouldn't, it's, it's a bad thing, uh, to this uh, 
this destitute woman uh, who's not worth a whole lot of money, or and 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 so uh, and so that we'll find out what winds up happening with him and his wife. Uh, now, uh, major characters in this short story um, that takes place over some time, so it's not like a quick little like two day short story kind of thing. It actually takes a it has uh, some time that takes place in it. Ultimately, uh, it'll it'll have a fun ending. I like it a lot. Um, so I enjoy it. I'm giving it, like I said, a seven plus out of ten uh, for you folks. Uh, so as we're doing, as a reminder, Edith Nesbitt published more than sixty novels, many of which were children's novels in the uh, fantasy genre. We read one actually for you folks, and I've reviewed it for you. Um, I've also reviewed a few short stories by her uh, that pre prior to my deep dive, and I was reminded of how much I love her after uh, reading a couple of her short stories and a couple of horror collections uh, recently, uh, Evil Roots and Promethean uh, Terrors, uh, that tell the story of biological uh, bad guys and, uh, and, and man-eating trees and stuff like that, or uh, mad scientists run amok. And she has a couple of short stories in each of those that I liked, and I was reminded about how much I liked her her stuff. So, so I also went back and reread this collection I got when I was in junior high, uh, with five horror short stories in it from one of my family members at Christmas, uh, used sack in hand, and I, I read it as soon as I got it. And I've done one review for you, uh, Guy de Maupassant's uh, *The Horror*, which I love so much from that short story a collection, uh, five stories. And then I've gone back and reread it and knocked out the other four for you folks. And it was and her favorite short story, *Man Size and Marbles*, in that collection. Uh, that was the first thing I'd ever read by her, and I was reminded by how much I love her. So I'm going back and doing a deep dive into her um, after I read a few short stories by her in these collections for you folks. Uh, so there you are. That's Edith Nesbitt uh, for you folks. Um, she had a long uh, career uh, for you folks. Um, so have you heard of the or of the Simpsons, uh, the new Simpson rather? Uh, what did you think about it? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you've read it, if you thought it was, let's talk about spoilers. Let's talk about the ending. Let's talk about what you thought rating wise. Did you agree or disagree with my seven plus? Let's talk about it. Uh, so let's you know have have some fun with it. As a reminder, this channel is named the worst thing about new books because that's a quote by a friend philosopher named Jacques Joubert, who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones. Uh, and in this case, something that was published more than 100 years ago is definitely an old thing, right? Uh, so there you are. Um, uh, so uh, if you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and in watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.